Hello again, everyone. Today, we have No 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 Joe here, who we're gonna call Noah because saying Noah is a heck of a lot easier than saying No 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 Joe a whole bunch of times So this video. He is playing in the Centurion Action X, and I'm laughing at him brake checking. TB Rays, again, it's TB Rays platooning with him. Brake checking him like that is something he does all the time when we're playing games with him, whether it be GTA racing or this or whatever, and it drives me absolutely insane. Like, stop. <laughs> anyway, today he's in the Centurion Action X, as I probably already said, but now I've forgotten. And he is going to make me want to buy this tank. This is a vehicle that I haven't gone down the line of, and really, it makes me wonder why I put it off for so long, because this looks like a pretty solid vehicle. It looks like it has pretty good turret armor and its gun looks pretty good too. It looks like it handles very nicely and it does have a little bit of pep to it which is really nice. So this first part of the battle is going to be a little bit on the slower side just waiting for things to unfold, waiting for the right moment. Noah here is smart enough to know that if he pokes over this ridge and tries to be a little bit aggressive he's gonna get shot by several enemy vehicles in the back that he probably hasn't even had his team spot yet. And there's no point throwing away those hit points. You might as well have a little bit of patience. Let the enemy team kind of spread themselves out or make the first moves, make the mistakes. Let them get impatient. Unlike someone such as the AE Phase 1 beside him. They just took a shot of damage for basically nothing. Just there, Noah took a shot from the Udaz 15-16, who he could not get a shot on a return. And luckily the turret armor there did not let him down. And he managed to actually take no damage. But it looks like that was the last straw for him. He's thinking, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm not playing that game. I'm going to go hunt down something else, get a different angle. Maybe those tanks that are pushing towards the south there, I can get a shot at. Let's see what he can find. Looks like the STRV might already have a shot at something, or maybe he's just blind, blind shotting a bush by the looks of the minimap. But there is a target. It's a bit of a slim shot, but Noah makes the gun on this thing work. And there we go. That's what I was talking about when I said that this gun seems to have some decent accuracy. I don't know what kind of equipment he has going on on this thing, but uh, whatever it is, seems to be working quite nicely. Spotted. What did he get spotted by? It probably wasn't that Udez over there, but it's possible that it could have been. Unless something like that T-110E3 to his right had managed to see it, but there, there could be other things unspotted still at this point in the game. So it's a little bit tricky to say. He's on the hunt for more shots. He's waited for his vehicle to become unspotted after that. He's going to poke up now and see if he can get a shot at something like the E-50, which is going to bounce. However, TB Rays, of course, is going to pick up that kill for him. So that's one vehicle out of the match so far. As you can see, Noah is still keeping an eye over at that hill where he was previously, waiting to see if one of the enemies will poke over there and try to get the shot. Again, waiting to see if they become impatient before we do, because that's all that really needs to happen in order to get a few easy shots into the enemy sometimes. And don't you worry, because his patience is definitely going to pay off in this battle. I say as he gets his first kill, finishing off that Udaz 15-16. Let's see if he can capitalize on any more mistakes over there. Maybe this Conqueror will give him a shot. That's a pretty tricky one, though. It's just a little sliver of his hull. Maybe the turret of the T-57 Heavy will be a good shot. We'll take the blind shot, see what happens. We'll see if he hits any blind shots at the end of this battle when we look at the after battle report. And I am speeding things up a little bit here because he's being very patient, but we are absolutely not feeling patient ourselves. Conqueror has made himself known again over there. Let's see if Noah can maybe find that shot this time. There's a little bit of the engine deck visible. Nope, didn't quite hit it. Don't worry, the reload time on this gun isn't half bad, as things usually are on tier 10 mediums. Maybe he can get another shot in this time. Aims to the hull. Perfect. Rather than taking the chances trying to hit those weak spots on the turret, he went for the really, really soft engine deck sticking up there. And then bounces that shell off of the turret. Now, looking back over the hill we started on, it looks like the enemy team is becoming very impatient, as we hoped they would. There's a couple shots into the 705A. Can we, well, can we get a second one here? Looks like it. Yeah, more damage already. More than 800 damage done to that 705A from us alone, from Noah here alone. When I say us, I mean Noah, not me <laughs> at all. And let's see what other enemies will allow Noah to take a chunk out of them. Maybe the 140, the E4, oh, inside of the turret, that looks delicious, absolutely delicious. Maybe another one, oh yeah, absolutely, no problem whatsoever. Still keep an eye on all those tanks around him, including that RU over there. The 140 is not really making the same mistake. He might be a little bit more hesitant too, given that he doesn't have much gun depression to, to play on this ridge. 
like some of his other allies might. I mean, that being said, things like the 705A don't exactly have a lot of gun depression. Punishing that standard B a little bit. TB Rays has finished off the T-1094. And what else? That, T that Object 140 just does not want to give us the, the shots. He's probably just proxying that AE or something like that for his teammates, hope hoping they can pick him off. But the only thing getting picked off is maybe this 705A. Trying to find a weak spot on the hull and manages to do it. Takes the last eight hit points from that guy. Now the Object 140 is not going to have anything else to proxy as the AE Phase 1 has unfortunately died. And that's going to mean a little bit more work that Nojo or Noah, as we'll say, <laughs> has to do here this battle. And maybe TB Rays can help him out a little bit too. Because they have both picked up two kills each now. With Noah here being at 3,500 damage that we have spotted being done so far. And now it's time to finally be on the move. No more sitting up on top of that hill. Let's see if he can do some hunting instead. He's probably going to see if he can get a shot at... Okay, that's not what we expected. See if he can get a shot at the uh, Progetto and the RU that were over there. But instead managed to just, you know, blatantly ram the RU-251 and get the kill that way. Hey, whatever works, that sounds a lot easier. And there's the Progetto. He was also moving up, it appears. Managed to track the Progetto. Looks like the Progetto might have used a paracut to do to get out of there, which might have been a mistake because now Nojo has made that very conscious decision to take off that Progetto's tracks and has put the Progetto in the perfect spot where the Progetto can't really fire back at all. He can't get his gun pointed at Noah here. It just no, That gives Noah the opportunity to just absolutely farm that Progetto, letting him pick up his fourth kill in this battle. Now it's off to the next hunt. There's no more enemies over here that we know of. So he's going to try to get a view at somebody on that hill. I imagine the TV Rays is probably trying to get a bit of a spot on there eventually. Let's see if he can spot anything for Noah. TV Rays is moving up very, very cautiously. Noah is using this bush to the best of his ability to try to mask his approach in case that somebody is poking over this ridge line to get the shot at him. Now it looks like Noah is considering revisiting the spot that he started out the match in, but perhaps there's some juicy distractions over here in the form of a Udez and the Object 140. And remember, the Object 140 is going to have a hard time with that hill and getting his gun down because he doesn't have much gun depression. And watch this moment here. Noah has the presence of mind to go for that tracking shot again on that Object 140, just like he did on the Progetto earlier on. And that is going to absolutely allow himself, TB, and the rest of his team to tear apart that Object 140 with that 140 unable to do anything about it. That quite impressed me throughout this replay, seeing several times, and again here in a second, how without hesitation and complete confidence in his shot, managed to take off the enemy vehicle's tracks and completely take away any effectiveness they may have in their battle. That kind of thing right there, and here we go, taking off the tender beast tracks again, is exactly the kind of things that sets apart the okay players from the much better players. And that's one of the reasons why Noah is uh, statistically a little bit better of a player than I am. And I think he is completely deserving of that title after seeing this replay. Noah has now taken six kills. TB Race has taken three. That's going to be brothers in arms as long as they survive, which I think is very likely against this artillery piece here. And let's see if he can t pick up the seventh kill. There we go. Seven kills for him. Three for TB. That's ten kills for the platoon. Very, very nice. And with just a minute to spare in this battle, absolutely beautiful. That's going to give Noah and TB as well quite the collection of epic battle achievements to take home after this battle. Having totaled 9,500 damage done alone, and that's 13,000 between the pair of them in this platoon. Despite having a bit of a slow start, this battle turned out to be quite epic, and I really did enjoy watching it. Until the next time, have a good one.